New details we're getting on the New Year's Eve death of Nick Gordon. That's the former fiance of Whitney Houston's daughter, Bobby Christina. He was held legally responsible, you may remember, for Bobby Christina's death back in 2015. Amy Robach is here now live with more. Good morning to you, Amy. Hey, TJ. Good morning. Nick Gordon and Bobby Christina had a very complicated relationship. And now, nearly five years after her death, he has passed away after a reported overdose. Bobby Christina, turn your bodies this way. Overnight, ABC News has learned the former fiance of Whitney Houston's only child, Bobby Christina Brown, has died of a reported drug overdose. According to the Daily Mail, 30-year-old Nick Gordon was rushed to a hospital in Central Florida during New Year's celebrations after having a series of heart attacks. Doctors were unable to revive him. An attorney for Gordon confirming his death, but not commenting on a cause. Gordon was long rumored to be Whitney Houston's adopted son, though the music star never fully adopting him or including him in her will. He was there the night the music superstar accidentally drowned in a hotel bathtub surrounded by drug paraphernalia just before the Grammys in 2012. Gordon and Bobby Christina eventually becoming engaged. We're really, really very happy. But their union rumored to be tumultuous. In 2015, Bobby Christina, then 22 years old, in a scene eerily similar to her mother's death, found unconscious and unresponsive with drugs in her system in the bathtub of the Georgia home she shared with Gordon. She remained in a coma for six months and later died. In 2016, Bobby Christina's father, singer Bobby Brown, joined his daughter's estate to file a $10 million wrongful death civil suit against Gordon. And although he was never charged in the case, a judge ordered him to pay $36 million to her estate. Gordon's brother telling ABC News overnight, we are devastated by the loss of my beautiful brother. He leaves a void in the hearts of my family and his friends. Nick's battle in life was not an easy one. Now, Gordon's brother also went on to say, I was able to hold his hand as he journeyed on. Next month will mark the eight-year anniversary of Whitney Houston's death. So much tragedy in this situation, Whit. That is for sure. Amy Robach for us. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.